Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Wednesday, the 10th of June. All right, now, sorry, just a, um, a quick note. Still using the laptop. My main desktop systems are, are still getting repaired, apparently, hopefully tomorrow. So anyway, I'm a bit limited with what I can show you the on the laptop. So what we're seeing is pretty much as expected, these uptrends that uh, were really pretty aggressive last week have lost uh, a fair bit of momentum, but that's expected on a, on a pretty significant move last week. Now what you're getting is, and uh, this is what I was highlighting in the FX market inside, was a bit of a retracement down. You expect that to um, you know, flush out a few weak positions and then see it start to move forward. So I, I'm still expecting that to happen. If anything, Sterling did it quicker, straight down to support and then back higher. That's a pretty aggressive bullish sign. And Euro looks like it's going the same way, as is uh, dollar cat. Bit of a pullback towards 135 and now back at 134. Now, the big surprise to the ticket is dollar yen. Okay, the yen, uh, yen and dollar Swiss actually, big moves to the downside. You think that's just a just an overall bearish dollar situation catching up with the market. So I think uh, at the moment, if I just come back to the um, Forex Daily Market Inside page and just have a look at the, uh, the, the main market section here, You'll see that, uh, you know, trading with the market, well, you've got the dollar pairs going down and all the other pairs going up. Okay, so this is a pretty pretty good sign that the dollar is working uniform. Of course, we do have the Fed coming up and that could uh, throw a spanner in the works. Um, if you're looking for further insight into where I think the best potential opportunities are, and it's pretty much the same as last week's trending pairs, except dollar cad's in there as well. Uh, you can check those out as well. If I just move that across, I'll give you a bit of a look. If you haven't already, uh, as I said, some of these moves have already uh, started taking place. In particular, as I was sort of pointing out here with uh, Sterling, um, sort of dropping uh, right down towards the trend line and back higher. That's probably the best one to look at so far. The others probably not as deep a retracement. So at the start of the week, this is what you've got to deal with. You've, We've got the last week's trend, so don't just sort of run in. You have to wait for the retracements. Now they start to come back. And this is where we would generally uh, start to put into play the economic fundamentals. US CPI number, that's going to be pretty pretty important, but overshadowed by the Fed, right, which is, um, you know, six hours later or something like that. And then you've got the press conference there as well. So this is going to be potentially shaping all major currency pairs. Uh, there's a, a bit of talk around that the Fed were going to do something to curb the recent rise in bond yields. Um, so let's just see what's going on. Now that the rollback at the lockdowns has been quite successful, the central banks are going to start trying to work out how they're going to pull the money back out of the economies. At the same time, they don't want to do it too early. Otherwise, they, uh, if there is some sort of hiccup, they don't want to see it dip back into the into the um, the piggy bank again to sort of fund things. So anyway, it's good signs that uh, there's no big coronavirus news that keeps things rolling. And once these macroeconomic fundamentals come into play, that's when uh, we're really going to start to rock. All right, guys, have a good trade day. Uh, as I said, hopefully back to normal by tomorrow. Cheerio.